Hail and well met travelers. Happy spooky season. Halloween is nearly here, and if you're anything like me, then you have procrastinated to the last minute in deciding what to wear. My typical MO is to have a really awesome costume idea back in February and then forget about it for months until the week before Halloween when everything is already sold out. So I decided that this year I would make five costumes from items that I already have around my house. Halloween is obviously a lot different this year, but if you need a last minute costume idea for that spooky Zoom Halloween party, then maybe one of these will work for you. I tried my best to do characters that most people would recognize, but there may be some here that people don't know. But ultimately, for Halloween, if you like your costume and you love that character, that's really all that matters. Also, for these costumes, I kept my hair and makeup pretty basic, but you could definitely get more dramatic with it. So, without further ado, here's costume number one. Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. This movie from Studio Ghibli is a classic, and I know that a lot more people have watched it recently now that it's on Netflix. This is an incredibly easy costume to throw together because it requires so few pieces, but it's still an iconic look. For this look, you need a black dress, red shoes, and a red headband or ribbon, which is broom optional. Costume idea number two is Lyra from Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials series. Lyra was one of my favorite characters growing up, and I have reread those books multiple times. However, this character might be a little obscure for some people, but it is getting more recognizable now because there's a series that is airing on BBC. For this costume, I was trying my best to mimic Lyra's first look at Oxford, which requires a dark blouse, a corduroy dress, boots, and of course, your demon pantalamen, and your trusty alethiometer. These props I made just out of cardboard and paint and aren't entirely necessary, but I think it makes it more clear that I'm in costume and not just wearing a dress. Costume number three is Nancy Drew. This costume was a really easy look for me to throw together because I really love the way that Nancy Drew has been styled in the various movies, video games, and TV shows that she's been in, and I have a few pieces that have been kind of inspired by that retro look. For this costume, I used a blouse with a Peter Pan collar, a plaid skirt, matching high knee socks, a headband, a pair of Oxfords, and of course, a journal for taking notes. Next time I might change the color of the headband or maybe even the blouse because the whole thing all together ended up feeling a little bit Christmassy. Costume number four is Nina Zenek from Lee Bardugo's Grishaverse. Now, this is definitely my most obscure character because if you don't read a lot of young adult fiction, you will not have heard of her. But here's what you need to know about Nina. She is an extremely powerful magic caster, she dresses in red, she's curvy, she has brown hair, and she loves waffles. So for this costume, I went with this gorgeous red velvet dress, 
a pair of no-nonsense adventure boots, and of course the aforementioned, ever-important waffles. Now, full disclosure, caution number five might be pretty hard for people to do because it's, uh, it's pretty high fashion. I pulled my most luxurious pieces because this character has expensive taste and I really wanted to reflect that. So the pieces for this look are a dragon onesie. Yes, that's right. It's the proud and mighty dragon. I bought this onesie a few Halloweens ago and it is the coziest and the easiest Halloween costume there could possibly be and it simply does not get more stylish. So there you have it, five last minute costume ideas made with relatively common items. If you do any of these characters yourself or have any other quick and easy costume ideas, tag me on Instagram at Christy I'll be posting five days of costumes there with the hashtag Christy Creates. I hope you all have a safe and fun Halloween, which is also the best time to make your weird inner kid happy. Boo bye! Hail and well met travelers. Spooky. Need a last minute costume idea for that spooky Zoom Halloween party? Then maybe one of the. Costume number two is Lyra from Philip Pullman's His Dark. Costume idea two is Lyra from Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials series. Hey, Philip Pullman, from me to you, your name is really hard to say. I just want you to know that. really good. And your trusty alethiometer. It's a hard word to say. Alethiometer. Yeah. Okay. But I was like one like powerful one. I just slapped my own ass. One powerful. Backpack for my ass. Okay, so. Feet. Style. He's like, you're done filming now because I'm having a snack. <laughs> He's like, cut. That's right, putting you on blast, sir. Which is also the perfect time to make your weird air kid happy. Boo bye. Do you like that final line, babe? Yeah. Boo bye. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs>